So I said I was done. I said I was done. I thought I was done, but I'm not done. Obviously, there's something that came up that was interesting to me. Pretty interesting. So we've been talking about Delete's loss for a little while, and today he released a video. <sighs> this motherfucker does not know anything, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get started. And first, I want to read something to you. I'm going to read you the definition of a public figure. A public figure, according to Gertz v. Robert Welch, is an individual who has assumed roles of a special prominence in affairs of a society or thrusts themselves in the forefront of particular public controversies to influence the resolution of issues involved. So, Delete's Law, in his new video, <coughs> he says he's not a public figure. And he's worried about being a public figure because laws? Which, if he knew, if he knows his laws, then he would know that. If he knew the definition of public figure, then he would know that. I'm considered a public figure. I put myself out there on the internet. You do the same shit. You think you're doing a public service. That is, by very definition, a public figure. In my opinion, you are a stupid motherfucker. That's my opinion. Not based on fact. You know, I, I came across a couple things that was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting to me, actually. So, take a look at a few videos, and I'm going to splice some up in here. We're going to talk about, in my opinion, this wonderful superhero. You know, the guy is fighting Nazis for you. The police. The one who's taking all the pain for you, the viewer. Not only that, he's taking your money, in my opinion. In my opinion. Let me go ahead and say this right now. Before he can say, I'm harassing or suing me, everything I'm going to say right here, and I will include the word every time. That way we can make no mistake and you can't threaten to sue me because you're a stupid pussy, in my opinion. In my opinion. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You fucking idiot, in my opinion. See, it's going to work like that. You are a public figure. You made yourself a public figure. Learn your fucking laws, you retard, in my opinion. In my opinion. It's not fact. I don't know if you're a retard or not. It's not fact. I don't know if you don't know the laws. It's not fact. For all I know, you probably watched a ton of Scooby-Doo and thought you was goddamn Shaggy. Wait, Shaggy? Scooby-Doo? Doesn't fucking matter, in my opinion. In my opinion. He's taking your money. He says he's moving to Ironton, Ohio, because God said so, basically. He's like, it's God has put this in place, in my place. It's my destiny. My destiny to live in Ironton, Ohio, to be a stupid fuck, in my opinion. In my opinion, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I kind of pisses me off. You know, I like I said, I didn't want to continue this, but he kind of makes it hard not to. So one of the things he did is he says he did. There's a new channel on YouTube or something uh, called Ironton Auditor. So. What's he saying is he's saying that he's left somebody behind because he's going away for a while. He says he's going to go to California to get his stuff from storage so he can move here to the great state of Ironton, Ohio, so he can cause more shit, in my opinion. In my opinion. But, anyways, he says he's go always, if somebody gets pulled over for anything, if something happens with the police, anything. There's going to be an auditor filming everything. So this guy thinks he has some kind of God-given power to do whatever the fuck he wants, including, in my opinion, and this is also a fact, and we'll show you this. So I got to see a couple videos. Pretty interesting. This is a guy that you are trusting to talk to the law he thinks he's talking. He's not accomplishing anything, honestly. 
If he's accomplishing anything, he's making the people he thinks he's protecting look like fucking fools. He's taking your money. He's giving him a place to stay. In my opinion, in my opinion, we don't want to say fat because he will sue us. Because this is an opinion piece, people. This is purely opinion. No truth here. No truth. So take my words with a grain of salt, in my opinion. But anyways, anyways, where was we at? So, you know, he got his phone taken away because he's a public nuisance. And that's what that is. Let's look up public nuisance. Let's see what that means. Public nuisance. Definition law. Let's see here. Let's see what the law says about that. A public nuisance generally refers to any conduct that interferes with the rights of the public. The precise, the precise definition of public nuisance often varies by state and is embodied in civil and criminal statutes. So he does have some type of knowledge of being a public nuisance, which he is, in my opinion, being a public nuisance. There's a reason why there was a black back to blue rally. Because people don't like the shit that you're trying to do. You're harassing people. It, I'd understand if you was approaching this at a different way. Instead of going up to the cops say, hey, I want to fight you in an arena. I want to fight you in a cage. I want to fight you like a man. In my opinion. In my opinion. So one of the videos I saw, which was pretty interesting. So, you know, he's been a part of a lot of things. And I'm going to include the videos. That way you can see them. I'll include parts of them. So not only is Mr. Chili Con Queso, in my opinion, is he a, in my opinion, scam artist, in my opinion. He's also protecting your balls and your dick. What? What? What do you mean by that? What do you mean he's protecting my dick? Well, Mr. Chili Con Queso, in my opinion, decided, like back in the day, to try to get his name out, he was selling cock socks. Yes, because you have to tan with a sock on that cock and balls. And I'll show you the video of that right here. You guys want to check it out. And that inspired me to... Um, create a sock for your jock for indoor tanning beds because for years I was wearing a sock and come to find out that a sock doesn't actually protect your, your package. So after tons of research, I actually figured out that a jock sock made of a particular type of blend of fiber actually blocks UV light and it covers the captain and co-pilot. You need some research into this uh, material then. I did, I did. And then after a while, you know, it's fourth year in business, I needed help, I needed a business partner. So David Kimberly came around and I I jumped at the chance. The guy's smart, attractive, ambitious. So we've been rocking it ever since. Now, now there's another video, but it was pretty interesting. It's actually funny, as well as pretty cringy, in my opinion. All this is an opinion, people. All this is an opinion. No facts here. So we have Superhero, who's also fighting the war on diabetes. Dressed up like a superhero with a hammer and some big circular Superman suits. Sammy has thousands of fucking sponsors. Actually, hundreds, in my opinion. No facts, in my opinion. I have to show you this video. Here we go. I love that. Now, can you tell us about the costume? Okay, so I, I put <laughs> 20 grand on the costume and I hired a Hollywood costume maker. So it's a DNA strand because diabetes comes in your DNA and what a lot of women and men don't know is that if you're pregnant and you have a high sugar diet you're gonna have a kid who is insulin resistant at birth we find that diabetes comes from in the womb and then goes outward so if you're pregnant you don't want to be eating sugar you want to be eating fats what super necessary human does is teach people intermittent fasting and ketosis because we're finding now that fats are so much better for you than carbohydrates and even protein to a degree but you want to base your diet on fat and then protein and greens and probiotics and prebiotics so not only is mr chili mr chili that's what his name is that's not his real name by the way 
I, I think he has a different name. I'm pretty sure. I'll find out. I'll find out the facts, but I'll also give you... In my opinion, he might have a different name. Okay, that's better. That's better, right? That is much better. So, so Chili, Chili, not only is he fighting for your rights, he is the man of the law and the man of the balls. And he's also fighting the Nazis and the diabetes. This motherfucker is a jack of all trades, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so worked up about this. So this motherfucker says he's moving to Ironton, Ohio. You can go watch his video. It will straight up tell you. He has his fans of loyalists, and a lot of big YouTubers do. He's not the biggest YouTuber. He kind of inflates things. He's got a little bit of... What is it? He's a narcissist. He thinks he's bigger than what he actually is. He thinks what he's doing in Ironton or any place he goes, since this guy is a constitutional scholar. He teaches people all around the world about the constitutional law. Not only that, he's protecting your cock and your diabetes. In my opinion, in my opinion, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Whew, 10 minutes of this, right? 10 minutes of this. I am pretty riled up, honestly. Requesting money? You know, he said he says in a couple of videos he had, <laughs> ah, he's so full of himself. I, I'm losing steam here, guys. Losing steam here, guys, in my opinion. I don't want to ramble for too much longer. I hope you guys take a look at these videos and you realize what kind of person you are working with. You know, somebody comes to town and promises you gold, they're most likely going to give you shit. And this is exactly what he's doing, in my opinion. In my opinion. He is, again, he is now considered a public figure. He can say he's not, but he is. He's putting himself out there. So therefore, he is a public figure. He thinks he is really, really big right now. He's a big YouTuber. For this area, he's a big YouTuber. But he's put himself out there. So therefore, he is a public figure. He might think he's not, but he is. He just does not know the actual fucking law. He says he knows that fucking law. I want to bob my head all over, in my opinion. But he doesn't. He's full of fucking shit, in my opinion. Man, man, man. So, not only is he saving you, protecting you, he's also taking the shots for you. By getting tortured with handcuffs on, which he says he's being actually tortured and put into a dungeon of death and hurt and pain. He's fucking retarded in my opinion in my opinion i can't say by fact he is it's only my opinion we all have opinions right we have the first amendment that protects us with opinions so we can have an opinion on public figures because of the First Amendment. And Mr. Chili, if you decide that you think you should sue me for this, since you're a constitutional scholar, you're just being a bitch at that point, and you're not standing up for the First Amendment, which you should. You have every right to say what you're saying because of the First Amendment. We're not stupid. You didn't come to Ironton to mess with a bunch of stupid people, which there are stupid people everywhere, not just Ironton, in my opinion. So we have ourselves a public figure that's also a public nuisance at this point. 
And I know you're going to hop on here. And you're going to be like, oh, Mr. Chili is the greatest thing in the world. You're just a fat nerd. Look at you. You have a small channel. Look at you. Mr. Chili is fucking Jesus. Oh, my God, in my opinion. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.